With global sea trade expected to double in the near future, researchers are working on new designs and technologies to create the smart ships of the future. Lloyd's Register has established a global technology centre in Southampton, where our reporter found that cleaner, greener and safer vessels are taking shape. Southampton is one of Britain's biggest ports and a centre for maritime research and development. And it's here that Lloyd's Register has chosen as the home for its new global technology centre to support the work being done to develop new concepts and new technologies for our shipping industry. It's been said before that the best way to predict the future is to create it. And this is the philosophy being used by Lloyd's Register at the Global Technology Center. And what it means is being at the forefront of innovation, making sure that we're creating the most innovative, the greenest and the safest ships, which will be the future of shipping. This huge embroidery on the wall of the centre reflects the proud past and the future ambition of Lloyd's Register. It started in London as the world's first classification society. Now on the same campus with the University of Southampton and the city's Marine and Maritime Institute, it aims to support today's industry to make the best commercial decisions based on the best technical insight. This is the largest business and university partnership in Britain and maybe one of the largest in the world, certainly the biggest in shipping. I think by being here and being able to work with the university, with a broader marine and maritime cluster, we're uniquely placed to help shape the future of shipping to effectively serve world trade. Yeah. What's the heading angle for this one? And as well as modelling using the latest hydrodynamics techniques, Access to this towing tank on site and others around the world allows experts to analyse the structural strength and fatigue of the newest large ship designs. The modern container ships are now up to 400 metres in length, potentially getting bigger, and we have to have ways to validate our software. We can run specially segmented models in tanks like this, so the models actually bend as they go through the waves, and we can measure the strains on the backbone of these, and you can use that to calibrate against our analyses again. So, very important. Another project is researching the potential of adaptive materials and structures for ships. It's an example of partnership working, where the Global Technology Center, together with manufacturers, designers and operators, develop market-driven designs that are future-proofed and safe. The aim of this project is by changing different components of the ship, ranging from the structure to the material selection, we'll be able to design a ship that could adapt to a changing environment. So it could be uh, environmental conditions, it could be physical um, uh, business needs, so that therefore could bring ultimately benefit to the industry and the general public. Shipping is not as, as conservative as some people may think it is. Actually, it does really move ahead, but in a bit of a silent mode. Uh, the excitement comes in with the, uh, the task, the challenge for everybody to make sure that we can make sure that technology is, is adopted on time when the clients want it and when that happens it is safe. Just like the pioneers in 1760 when Lloyd's Register was first established, creative thinking, commitment and ambition are helping the industry to move forward with new and improved technologies to meet the ever-increasing demands on shipping in the years to come.